Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for the... Uh, this is going to be a timeless reading. It's going to be for whenever you find it. Uh, and this is going to be a what you need to know right now reading, Libra. So we're just going to see... Uh, what comes up for you. Uh, so make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture here of what's going on for you, Libra. This is not supposed to be here, so we're just going to move that out of the way. But uh, Libra, let's see what we get going on for you. Also, make sure to only follow the social media accounts that are linked down below. There are a ridiculous amount of scammers nowadays pretending to be me. I will never offer personal readings, and I will also never uh, ask you for money. So if anyone asks you for money claiming to be me or asks you to pay for a personal reading, it is not me. Make sure to report those people uh, for sure. Although Instagram, Facebook, they don't care. They just leave those accounts up and they say that they're perfect. It's perfectly fine that you're getting scammed, which really pisses me off if you can't tell Libra. But uh, Libra, pretty good reading. I feel there is definitely, so I'm getting the word announcement on the page of wands here. And I do feel there is like an announcement. It's funny that the eight of wands is the, we're going to cover these in just a second, but it is interesting that the eight of wands is kind of like the first card after the page of wands. I don't really consider the page of wands to be a card of a message, but um, it is a card of like an announcement, like something, you know, like a big announcement coming out here. And I, I, I never feel that. So um, pretty interesting that that's the words that I'm getting here. But I feel that there's some sort of announcement coming in for you here. And to make a long story short as well, you have the three of pentacles to the star. Uh, I use these top cards to basically ground the message. Um, to me, they're it's kind of weird the way I read, but to me, they're not part of the reading. This part of the reading, to me, they just ground the message below, if that makes sense. And uh, so kind of like what I'm putting together here is that the Three of Pentacles actually represents a combination uh, between fire and water energy and, it, you know, uh, and air as well. But it also represents kind of like, a you know, represents a combination of three. And it kind of represents the fire needing to take action. And it also represents the water, which is the other most important part of the card, needing to trust your intuition but more than that, the water part of the Three of Pentacles, because uh, there is an upside down ba triangle basically uh, that is formed on the Three of Pentacles, and it can represent needing to ground something in reality. And the star is another card that can represent needing to ground something in reality. The star can actually represent great strength as well. There's an eight, you know, there's an eight pointed star. It's an eight pointed star, the star. And the eight points, it kind of represents strength because, uh, it, you know, basically to make eight points, it's uh, just two squares put together. And, uh, you know, so again, long story short, it represents strength. And it's like there's some sort of announcement, something that you're putting out into the world or something that you want to do is what I'm getting here, Libra. And I feel like it's going to require great strength, but it's also going to set you free. Uh, on the star, normally there's a naked lady on the star. And again, it represents freedom in the star card. So, um, but it doesn't, the star... You know, star is kind of like missing action, right? Uh, and you have the Knight of Cups here as well. And the Knight of Cups kind of represents needing to take action because he's allowing that river that's in front of him to stop him on his journey. So just putting it all together, <laughs> that's kind of like what I'm getting from your reading. Now, let's get some details on where this, is, where this announcement is leading you, what you're going to be doing. You have the Eight of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Fool starting something new. So clearly the announcement could be you starting a new journey or kind of uh, doing something differently with your life. Probably something much more exciting with the uh, Ace of Wands here. And I feel like this Ace of Wands is going to be something that leads to a lot of growth because of it came up with this Six of Swords. And Six of Swords doesn't really represent growth, um, but it kind of does <laughs> as well because they're in choppy waters. The person... In the back of the boat here, he represents a guide. He represents someone who goes, is it focusing? I don't know, Libra, I quit. But um, anyway, he represents someone who goes back and forth between the choppy waters. He represents a guide. He guides people, right? And I feel like you've learned a lot. And I feel that in a lot of ways, that there's a lot of growth, like personal growth that's uh, kind of going on at this time. And I feel like you're about to make a decision. And that's probably what this announcement, and you know, I, I keep getting the word announcement. So I feel like there's like an important announcement that is, um, 
that either, like, I feel like it's you, though. I feel like you're the one that is telling people something. I feel like you're the one, or, you know, you could be telling a person something. But it's like, you're making an important announcement here, Libra. So where's this going? You have the Ace of Pentacles, noose. Um, Ace of Pentacles, you know, back in the day, um, be, even before tarot, it's like there were, you know, playing card reading systems and things like that. And the Ace of Pentacles, um, you know, or the, I should say, like the Ace of Diamonds in the playing card reading system is called the letter. So I feel that there is definitely communication, but this is like communication. And it could be that you are taking on um, kind of like a new responsibility here. You have the Three of Swords. Everybody's been getting this uh, in these What You Need to Know readings. Did I say what this reading was at the beginning of the reading? I have no clue. This is a What You Need to Know reading at this time, Libra. I, I feel like I didn't say that. <laughs> but uh, I feel like what you need to know is that, yeah, uh, it's like there could be some pain involved in uh, some sort of decision that you're making. And uh, this came up for literally, I'm almost done with these and... It came up for every single sign that we could be making a decision where, yeah, there's like pain, but uh, at the same time, there's going to be a lot of growth and a lot of abundance. I feel like sometimes, like, I don't know, I get some comments that make me think that people think life is supposed to be all like sunshine and rainbows. And, you know, people accuse me of being too positive, but you know, what I would say here is it's not, right? It's like, we do have to make decisions sometimes that maybe uh, cause some pain, but at the same time, you know, at the end of pain is success, as they say. So, you know, like I said, to me, pain is not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, and you have the hermit. Yes, definitely having done some soul searching. It's like you finally made up your mind, you know, with the hermit. The hermit can represent like a dark night of the soul or going through a difficult period of time. But it's almost like you've already, you've, you know, made up your mind is what I would say here, Libra. I feel like you've already made a decision that you're going to do something or that you've made a decision that you're going to, it's like you've made a choice here with the hermit is kind of what I'm getting. Because the hermit can represent having gone through like, you know, a dark period of time. We see that here with the nine of swords to the eight of swords here. And really, I feel like you need to make this choice right here um, because this choice here is kind of like keeping you stuck, you know? And we even see it on the bottom row here, Libra, where it's like if you stay stuck in the, you know, the pain, the pain of, of in staying stuck, right, not moving on, that's like this middle row or this uh, first or second diagonal right here, uh, it's like staying stuck would be probably a bad idea. Experiencing a little bit of pain, nine of swords, still, you know, experiencing some nightmares is going to lead to a dream. So in a lot of ways, I feel like you're making an announcement here or an announcement is being made that you are kind of like walking away from something or uh, you're setting yourself free. And we see that again, the freedom with the star, even the six of swords as well is like there's a certain level of freedom going on there. Uh, next, you have the three of pentacles. Like I said, I got the grounding message here. Three of Pentacles can represent the need to ground something in reality. Like I said, there's the, normally on a traditional Three of Pentacles, there's the Three Pentacles, they form a fire triangle going up, and there's also another triangle on the card that you kind of have to like draw out, but it basically forms a water triangle uh, going down. And so I, and that popped into my head immediately when I put this card down. And what I feel here is that this card is kind of like saying that really, I, I feel like, the, you know, there's kind of like three elements here. Again, water, fire, air with the three of pentacles. And I, but I think the most important element that popped into my head right away was that water triangle on a traditional three of pentacles. So it's almost like something, you know, it can represent development of intuition needing to use uh, your intuition. It also kind of represents the mundane side of developing intuition in the pentacles, like just, um, you know, putting in the work basically to develop your intuition. Uh, and I'm getting something about intuition here. That's why I'm babbling on about this Libra, but, you know, needing to trust your inner guidance system. And, and, but I feel like it's like very practical. Like you could be getting very practical messages that are just like, uh, you know, go d uh, take this action. I don't like, it's almost like it, the card is telling me that it's like not going to be esoteric. Like, you know, sometimes I think we do things. I even think I told you last week, I'm pretty sure it was you, Libra, um, that, you know, you could be getting esoteric messages, like repeating numbers or something like that. I feel like there's more, there's like more grounded, stable, practical advice coming into your life, but it's not from, you know, I feel like it's from your guides, basically, with the six of swords. I feel like you could literally just have, um, you know, urges to go work on a project or to, you know, go communicate with a person or to talk to a person. I feel like this is literally just saying, like, follow those, like, primal urges that really have no, there's nothing like, you know, spiritual about it. Well, there is, but, you know, it's not like some, you know, repeating number that you see on the clock when you, you know, uh, think about something. 
So that's like what I'm getting here. I'm also getting that, again, I feel like something needs to be grounded in reality. You have the Ten of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the Magician needing to take action on something. You have, like, uh, again, the um, two cards here, Three of Pentacles and the Magician, that can represent kind of like the tool that you use. Again, like I said, with the Three of Pentacles, it represents fire, air, water. And, you know, it kind of says that there are certain elements that you could need to be using uh, to progress or to make progress in something in some area of your life and the magician he has mastery over all the suits and he represents needing to pick the right tool for the job so i feel for some of you this is kind of like saying it's time to get started on something i uh, uh it's kind of weird because like everybody has had the um everybody has had the ten of wands i think in these readings so there are definitely some burdens that i feel people are dealing with at this time and i'm not just talking about like coronavirus or you know whatever else i'm talking about like everything that's going on and uh, there's probably like other uh, extra responsibilities as well. I do feel, like I've talked about this quite a bit on the channel, I do feel that there are certain things in life um, right now in the astrology where it's like if we want something, it is gonna require us to work probably extra hard to accomplish you know, something, right? We have a, a few planets going retrograde and I just think that really, you know, basically the astrology is making it so that if we want to accomplish something, we definitely can, but it's probably just going to require some extra effort. What, like, what is this announcement? What are you trying to accomplish? Let's find out. You have the Two of Pentacles, hard work. Like I said, Two of Pentacles is a card of hard work. With that Ten of Wands, it's basically just saying, yeah, I mean, you can accomplish great things at this time, but it's, it's going to require hard work, plain and simple. Uh, you have the King of Cups here. Again, like I was saying, needing to ground something in reality. King of Cups says exactly what I just said in a better way because King of Cups says... Uh, you know, you need to ground something in reality uh, no matter what is going on around you. Yeah, he's sitting in choppy waters here, but he doesn't care. <laughs> uh, he doesn't care what's going on around him. He's not like wor worrying about all these little things, right? And I'm not, I'm not saying that you don't have a reason to worry about, you know, X, Y, and Z in your life. But um, what I am saying is that no matter what is going on around him, he still accomplishes what he sets out to accomplish. So some of you definitely are going to have to do that. You have the lovers here as well. I would say that some of you are attracting new love into your life. For some of you, I'm kind of getting like a weird story as well. <laughs> um, what I would say here, Libra, is I feel like for some of you, it's like you've been attracted to a person over here. I'm feeling it for some reason. Could be a fire sign, doesn't have to be. And I feel like there's a new person coming in. It's almost like one of those moments in your life where, you know, the best way I could describe it, I don't know if you've ever like been attracted to a person and it's like there's another person that's interested in you. And it's like almost like this person is invisible. I'm not saying this like, you know, that you're being rude or anything like that, Libra, but it's all, and, and, you know, I feel like this person's over here is invisible. This person, it's like, has all your focus. But it's like, once you shift your focus, I feel like this person is a much better choice. Knight of Cups, right? So for some of you, I feel like you could be, it's like in the past you were, uh, you know, I wouldn't say obsessed or fixated or anything like that, Libra. But I would say, I do feel like maybe you were focused on someone else. And it's like someone, it's almost like someone is coming into your awareness is what I feel here. It's like you're becoming aware of something. I don't know. Have you ever seen one of those movies where it's like, all of a sudden the the main character the the girl is like hey i like this guy or whatever and it's like that's like the feeling that was a terrible example <laughs> libra but that's what i'm getting here uh in this reading so i feel like a lot of you and again it doesn't matter what gender you're attracted to um you know i feel like a lot of you are becoming aware of someone could be a very solid relationship with the lovers we'll have to see where this goes lovers really tells me you're at a crossroads though so again i feel like a lot of you are making an announcement that you're making a change uh again you have the star card love it um i am kind of getting freedom on the star card like I said, I'm also getting strength as well. But it's like what I mean by strength is I feel that if you're making an announcement that you're making a change here with the Eight of Wands in that uh, Ace of Pentacles, I feel like this is a very grounded, solid decision. So I, really, I just kind of feel like this is one of those readings where it's almost like a confirmation reading. It's saying if you're doubting something, don't because it's exactly a thing that is going to set you free. So it's like if you're making a decision to move, to travel, to leave one relationship and go to another, whatever, I feel like this reading is basically saying the grass is greener. I mean, it is the right decision for you to make. 
You have the Eight of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Knight of Cups here. Um, really, I feel like this is how you're going to be set free from anything that has been kind of like holding you back. Knight of Cups is your dream life. He is normally looking into that cup and he is dreaming of what his perfect life would be. And so I feel for some of you, it's kind of like you're moving more towards, you know, happiness or things that you desire to have in your life. I do feel like it's going to require more action. With the Knight of Cups, I feel like he's asking you to get a move on, to take action, to make things happen, and to not, like, wait any longer. I feel like, really, this, like, boatman here on the Six of Swords is going to be coming to bring you across the river here, Libra. Really, this whole row says you have nothing to worry about. Um, the stars, hope, faith, renewal. The Eight of Swords is, you know, she is standing in a very shallow pool of water there. It can kind of represent shallow emotions. It can say that what you're worrying about just doesn't need to be worried about, right? that the things that you're worrying about, you could be making a much bigger deal. She doesn't know because she has a blindfold on. So she doesn't know that she's just standing in a tiny little puddle. She probably feels like she's in the ocean, like the King of Cups here. So in a lot of ways, this to me is saying that it's time to uh, get moving forward. It's time to move towards your desires. Like I said, I get like a very, like a much more primal, you know, direction from this reading is what I would say to you. So I feel like the main thing that one of the many important things in this reading that you need to realize at this time is it's almost like you're just being kind of guided by those desires, you know, the things that you desire to do. And, and like I said, I feel like it's not very esoteric with the Three of Pentacles. That doesn't mean you should ignore those messages and things like that. But I'm just saying, I feel like on a, on a, on a general level, it's like you are just going to desire to make a change here. So let's see here, Libra, where this is going. You have the Seven of Swords, get out of your head. This is like lying, cheating, stealing. In a lot of ways, I feel like it's saying don't take things too seriously. Seven of Swords can be lying, cheating, stealing, but again, I wouldn't really call this a love reading, and what I would say here is that I feel this card is saying don't take things too seriously. He has polka dots on his cloak here, Libra, and polka dots in the tarot represent taking things too seriously <laughs> and needing to not take things too seriously. It's like he's trying, he's got all these swords. He's trying to make things perfect, He, but he can't get those last two swords that are behind him. It kind of says like things will never be perfect. You know, it's almost like the three of wands. It's a card that says there will never be a perfect moment for you to do something. There will never be a perfect moment for you to rip the band-aid off, you know? And that's kind of like what I feel like you need to do here. You have the Six of Pentacles. I love two sixes. Uh, to me, two sixes in a reading is pretty much better. I mean, call me a crazy person if you want, Libra, but to me, two sixes in a reading is much better confirmation than anything else. I'd rather have two sixes than two aces, quite honestly, because uh, to me, two sixes says you're exactly on the right path. You're going exactly in the right direction. So I, you know, that's why I love of two sixes. To me, the Six of Pentacles is like the very beginning for you of putting your energy into something, getting energy back. You know, to me, Six of Pentacles can sometimes say that our energy is being better used at this time. So uh, that's kind of like what I'm getting for you here, Libra. It's like you can invest energy into something, whether it's a new relationship, new business, whatever, and it's like you're going to get energy back. There's more fairness here. Two wants, boom, there you go. Leaving a comfort zone. A pretty simple reading. I feel like you're just making an announcement that you're moving on from something and you're moving towards something bigger and better that are plain and simple. There is like a little bit of a need to rip the bandaid off in this reading, but I would just say move towards your desires. Very simple reading, um, actually, Libra. I like it. I definitely feel some of you could be moving towards love for sure. For some reason, I'm getting like long distance love as well. So, uh, but I feel for those of you where that message resonates, um, I feel like you're already involved in something long distance. It could be a new person for some of you. Again, it is general, this reading, so take it how it resonates. Um, but I would say that somebody's going to be moving here anyway, so... Um, you know, to me, obviously, if you're going to be in something long distance, someone has to move, obviously. And uh, it does look like that will be happening. But I do feel like there could be a new love coming in for you. To me, the whole reading, and by the way, if you're hoping for love or whatever, I feel like this whole reading is saying new love, ace of pentacles, eight of wands, nine of swords, king of cups, the knight of cups with that two of wands. Like this, a new person is your knight in shining armor. And uh, I feel like what you're worried about is letting go of maybe something that you've had on a pedestal for some of you. For others, it could just be a past person or something like that. Uh, but really good reading. I like where this is going, Libra, and uh, that's nice. So thank you for being here, Libra. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to uh, watch your sun, moon, and rising. Also, feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate the support, Libra. But thank you, Libra, and definitely enjoy the rest of your month.